everyone, this is James from Skate Britain. I'm going to take you through roller derby wheels. It's one of the most important things you need to get right uh, for your skating, for your surface and uh, for the way your skates react. So let's start simple on it. We'll go with the, the size first. So this wheel here is a 59mm. On the website there you'll see with each set of wheels it'll give you three numbers. It'll give you uh, the height of the wheel. This one's a 59mm by 38mm is the width. So the higher number on the wheel is always the, the height. And then you've got a A rating on the wheel as well, and that's your hardness. We'll start with the A rating. Um, this one here is a 95A. That's quite a hard wheel, okay? So the higher the number, the harder the wheel. Um, whereas, uh, you know, something like an Atom Poison, for example, it's a popular wheel for us. That's the other end of the spectrum. That's an 84A. That's a very soft wheel. Uh, a soft wheel is going to offer you more grip than a harder wheel, okay? Because the the softer the rubber, the more it, um, the more you can manipulate the rubber to grip. So it uh, it sticks to the floor, if you like, a softer rubber, okay? So, but a harder rubber is going to be faster rolling. So that's uh, that's what people try and get right. So if you've got a slippery surface uh, where you skate, then a softer wheel is usually recommended. Um, if you're a light skater, you're usually going to go on the softer end. If you're a heavy skater, you are generally going to go for the higher end um, of the A ratings. But again, depends a lot on your surface you're skating the on. The width well. of the wheel is one of the biggest differences uh, you're going to find on the wheels, that and the, the hardness. Okay, so the width of the wheel affects the grip of the wheel, it affects the um, maneuverability of the wheel and the speed of the wheel. A slim wheel is going to be faster generally uh, and a slim hard wheel is going to be faster. If you compare it to uh, how they do it on cars where car tyres, if they want your car to be economical they will use a slim tyre and they'll pump it up hard because it takes less fuel to push it. Now it's the same with you on your skates uh, a slim wheel, uh, a slim hard wheel has less resistance on the ground to a wider wheel. There's less rubber touching the ground and less drag if you like okay so slim wheels faster they're also they snake around a bit more um, a bit more maneuverable they make transitions easier um, the only thing they're not good for well I say they're not good for uh, is is grip so a wider wheel more surface area touching the ground more grip so when you go for a slim wheel for your speed you usually will have to go softer than you might have had your harder wheel or your wider wheel if that makes sense to you. So let's say, for example, you had a 92A in a wide wheel before, you want to go slimmer for more maneuverability, um, you're going to have to go with something maybe in its mid 80s, mid to late 80s, uh, in a slimmer wheel just to get the same or similar amount of grip that you had on your wider wheels, if that makes sense. Okay, so slimmer wheel, more agile, faster, uh, less drag, uh, wider wheel. Uh, more stable, more grip. Wheel height is a little bit easier to explain. So that's a 62mm wheel, that's a 59mm wheel. A bigger wheel, a 62mm, is going to have a better top end speed on it and it's going to have a little bit more grip because again you've got slightly more wheel touching the ground with a bigger wheel. Okay, It's not much though, it doesn't make a big difference in terms of that. Uh, a smaller wheel, in theory, accelerates faster and is a little bit more agile. Okay, so bigger wheel, faster rolling, smaller wheel, better acceleration. Okay, hope that makes sense, nice and easy. You don't just get 59 62s, by the way, there's a few different uh, wheel sizes on the market. There's a couple that have come in with really small wheels, but you have to consider how, if, when the wheel's that small, um, what your top end speed's going to be like. If you're only accelerating, you're never really in the, needing your top end speed, then yeah, 50, uh, a smaller wheel's good. Um, 59 62, the most common sizes. Um, that offer a bit of the best of both worlds, if you like. Both of those two are, are safe bets. So, based on all that information I've tried to give you there, you're going to need to choose a wheel um, that will do what you want it to do. So, uh, how do you want your skates to perform? That's what you've got to think about. If at the moment you've got plenty of stability, you're not worried about that, you've got plenty of grip, but actually you're not fast enough, maybe you're not agile enough, you're not good at uh, weaving, or you're struggling with your transitions, any of that sort of thing will be helped by a slimmer wheel or a smaller wheel. So let's say at the moment, like I said, you're not only problem with grip stability, you've got something like a fugitive wheel there. Um, go a little bit slimmer, 
you can go full height, um, so you can go 62 mil, the same as what you had, or you could go lower if you want to get a little bit more maneuverability again, more agility. Uh, so you've had something like that, uh, a 92A wide, try an 89A slim, that should help you out, slim or low, uh, both of those great. So that's a, um, that there's a short grip zombie wheel, that comes in uh, a low uh, 59 mil by 38 mil, or it comes in a 62 mil uh, by a 38 mil wide as well. They're good wheels, something like them, or an Atom Duke, both of those two wheels are great popular, they're slim and um, and they can do low or, or high. Um, that's the new Extra Slim by G-Rod, so that's slimmer again. If you've already got a slim wheel, you want something even slimmer, maybe try the um, Extra Slim G-Rod or the Radar Diamond or you know maybe a Heartless wheel, Heartless are very slim as well. Um, if you are struggling with stability or grip, try maybe a wider wheel. So if you want something in between, um, roller bones are good. That's the Day of the Dead wheel. It also comes in uh, an aluminium hub, which is called the Roller Bones Turbo. They're both great wheels. They're sort of a mid width. They're about 40 mil width, so it's in between. They're a 62 mil um, height. So that's a good choice. That's a popular one. I mentioned Adam Duke are very popular at the moment because they are small and slim. They're not badly priced. They're quite a good wheel. They're, in fact, they're one of the world's most popular roller derby wheels, according to their advert. Um, they are a good wheel. A lot of people like them. If you are struggling for grip on the surface that you're skating on, you've got a very slippery haul, which a lot of people have. Um, our most popular wheel for that is the Atom Poison wheels. Okay, so you can go uh, low 59mm or 62mm slim, or you can go for a wide wheel in the Atom Poison, all of which are super grippy wheels and um, should solve your problem, hopefully. Or Roller Bones do a, an 86A version of that wheel. That's also a great wheel, another one to consider. There's a few wheels down there, low end of the 80s. You know, low mid end of the 80s should give you a little bit more grip. Uh, if your haul is very sticky, uh, so, you know, the plasticky surface, surfaced haul, uh, very sticky, then go for a harder durometer on your wheels. Um, Something like, uh, you know, early 90s, uh, late 90s if it's a really sticky haul. Just a quick one about outdoor wheels. That's a Kryptonics Impulse wheel. Outdoor wheels are softer, often slimmer. Um, they smooth the ride out outdoors. So if you go outdoors on an indoor set of wheels, you're going to find that you get numb feet, you vibrate, it's not a comfortable ride. That's why they make these softer, they make them slimmer, they're grippy. They're just smooth for outdoors, it makes a lot of difference. If you do get outdoor wheels, get bearings for them as well. If you haven't already got a set, you can have a set of bearings in your indoor and in your outdoor wheels so that you don't have to take the bearings out the centre of the wheel, which is a bit of a faff. Even with the right tools, it's a 10-15 minute job before you can change them. So have bearings in both sets and then you just have to switch your wheels on your axles. Uh, super easy to get outdoors quickly then. So that's a ton of information I've just given you. If you want any more information, so um, something more specific to you and your surface, you can just give us an email or give us a call and might be able to help you out there. Um, otherwise, hope all that information's helped uh, and it makes sense to you.